Yankees. Yes, we are ready. Here with uh, White Sox prospect Adam Engel. Adam, uh, this uh, hitter's mini camp is reserved, reserved for some of the uh, top prospects in the White Sox organization. How nice is it to be included in that group, and how beneficial is this uh, experience? Um, it's a great experience, you know, just to get out here in front of coaches and uh, have an opportunity to work on some things and, you know, get their opinion and, and hear what they see about what you're working on in the offseason and stuff like that. And, you know, just to be included in a, a group of guys like this, it's definitely an honor. So just trying to take advantage of it. You had a great uh, Arizona Fall League uh, MVP. How much did that do for your, your confidence overall heading into uh, to this camp and also to spring training? Um, it, it always feels good to end the season on a high note, you know, um, a really high you know, caliber of ball player in that league, and it was good to go out there and, and compete against those guys and have some success. And um, like I said, it's definitely one of those things where, um, you know, you just want to end the season on a high note. And um, you go into the off season, you, you find some things that were working for you, and you, you know you can try and really continue to work on those things in a way that hopefully you'll be able to carry into, you know, a full off season into the next season. So. Speed is one of your greatest assets, um, but you're not the prototypical small guy. Is there a certain big leaguer at all that you try to pattern yourself after? Uh, you know, I, I always look to Mike Trout as, try, as a guy that's, uh, you know, emulate in some ways. Um, obviously, he's one of the best in the game, so you, you try to, to see what he does well and, and compare it to what you do. It might not be the whole, you know, the whole five tool um, that he has, but at the same time, you know, you pick, pick and choose here and there what, what he does well and what you can try and do to emulate that. Last year you had 65 stolen bases, yet you were only caught 11 times. What's the key to being a, a smart and a good base stealer? Uh, you just got to be a student of the game, you know, pay attention, um, study the pitchers, and, uh, you know, I was very fortunate to be around a lot of good base stealing minds. You know, in college I had a really good base stealing coach there, and then you come here and I had, a you know, a handful of guys that helped me out a lot with just a mindset, what to look for, um, how to study the game, and to get the right information, you know, and then obviously the scoreboard always tells you the right situation to, to steal, and um, I take a lot of pride in trying not to get thrown out and still being aggressive, so I've just been fortunate to be around a lot of people that know what they're talking about in that sense. You're a 19th round pick. A lot of guys you hear them talk about, they use that as motivation, as a chip on their shoulder, they should have gone higher. Is that sort of your makeup where you, do you feel like you have to prove yourself, or is it just something you go out and play and don't, that's, that's in the past? I, I try to just keep the same mindset regardless of uh, circumstance. You know, I just try and go out and work hard and prepare myself the best way I know how. And, um, you know, that stuff, you know, it, it's in the past. And um, I would like to say that it gives me motivation, but really just going out and being with my teammates and, um, you know, trying to perform and play well for my family and, and things of that nature, that motivates me more than stuff like that. So. Last question for you and Jacob May uh, got an opportunity to play in the Australian Winter League. I believe it was two winters ago. Can you talk about that experience and what you were able to gain from that as far as being exposed to a different culture and just playing in a different uh, continent? It was a lot of fun. You know, the country itself was a beautiful country. The people there were very hospitable. Um, you know, they, they took us in and made us feel comfortable pretty quickly. So that was a lot of fun. And then obviously being, you know, so far away from home that, you know, you don't, your parents can't come see you, your family can't come and see you. And um, it can be a challenge at times, especially around the holidays, but you definitely kind of grow up and, um, you know, you're out on your own, like completely on your own, you know. So it's, um, it was a good experience. It was a lot of fun. So and it was a great league. The people over there are great. So it was, I would recommend the league to, you know, anybody trying to play Winter Bowl. Awesome, Adam. Thanks for the time. Appreciate it. Thank you. The monster, Star Patch Kid.
nothing else to do with my hands once I lock them in place. Yeah. But if I'm still trying to get them in place and I got 95 coming my way, mm -hmm. and I gotta go, 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 and this barrel's going like this, yeah. my accuracy is 